Welcome class, I hope you are okay taking care of you and your family at home. And remember, wash your hands and wear a mask to cover your mouth and nose. Look at the pictures. What can you see? Yes, those are pictures of common stories that maybe your parents or your grandparents told you. Todas son imágenes de historias que tal vez tus padres o tus abuelos te han contado. All those stories are parts of our oral literature. Todas estas historias son parte de nuestra literatura oral. Let's see what is oral literature. Veamos qué es literatura oral. Oral literature also known as oral tradition, consists of stories that has been passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. Examples of oral literature are folk tales. A folk tale is a story that has been part of the oral tradition of a certain group of people for a long time. There are different types of folk tales. Legends, myths, fables, fairy tales, tall tales. Legends. A legend is a traditional tale handed down from early times and believed to have historical basis. Myth. A traditional story, especially one concerning to the early story of a people or explaining some natural or social phenomenon, beings or events. Fables. It is a short narrative making a moral point. Characters used to be animals with human qualities. Fairy tale. It is a fanciful tale of legendary deeds and creatures usually intended for children. Tall tale. It is an extravagant, fanciful, or greatly exaggerated story. Usually focuses on the achievements of the ultimate hero. Now let's read the following conversation about Molly and her friend Sam. She's telling what was her English teacher talking about. The teacher today talk about oral literature. What is it? Stories that has been passed down by word of mouth through generations. What kind of stories? Legends, myths, tall tales, fairy tales, and fables. Do you like them? I like legends and fairy tales. Which ones are your favorite? Da Cadejo and Cinderella. Now, let's listen again and repeat after me. The teacher today talk about oral literature. What is it? Stories that has been passed down by word of mouth through generations. What kind of stories? What kind of stories? Legends, myths, tall tales, fairy tales, and fables. Do you like them? I like
like legends and fairy tales. Which ones are your favorite? The Cadejo and Cinderella. Now let's practice. Let's read the sentences and identify what kind of story is each one. Short story with a moral point. Fable, myth, legends. Excellent fables. Humorous, extravagant, and exaggerated story. Very good. Told tale. Explains natural and social phenomena or events. Myth. Very good. Now let's listen a legend, the Cadejo. Listen carefully and do not repeat. The Cadejo. The Cadejo is a legendary animal that follows drunkard people that roams the streets at late night. It looks like a dog with red eyes Backward legs. Sometimes it is white, other times it's black. The white cadejo takes care of drunkards until they get home. On the other hand, the black cadejo chases people that is drunkard and do bad things at night to kill them. Now, let's answer some questions about this story. First, what kind of story is this? Fable, legend, or fairy tale? Excellent, it is a legend. What kind of animal is the cadejo? Dog, wolf, tiger. Very good, it is a dog. What does the white cadejo do? Takes care of drunk carrots, kills drunk carrots, Play with drunk curds. Excellent. The white cadejo takes care of drunk curds. What is the message of the story? Don't drink alcohol. Don't do bad things at night. Don't go out at night. Excellent. Don't do bad things at night. Jorge Montenegro, el hombre de los cuentos y leyendas de Honduras, sin duda deja su legado en el recuerdo de los hondureños. La Sucia, La Llorona y La Ciguanaba son solo algunos de sus recordados cuentos. Now the class is over, so remember, speak a new language so that the world will be a new world. Room. Goodbye.